Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host for The Pulse, and I'm ready to get going with my gentleman right here. We have Joel Mo Young and Major Mitchell, Mr. Derek Mitchell in the house. We have so much, like Derek just said a while ago, there's so much going on in the world, and we cannot wait to have your take on it, to explain, to get your opinion. So please don't be shy. Get in the chat. Um, and chat it up with us. You know, no opinion is wrong. And well, until we say it is. But uh, anyway, gentlemen, how are you guys feeling this evening? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. good. <laughs> all right, you geared up and ready to go? Yeah, man. Okay, all right. Well, let's get into it. Um, I think you have a rather lengthy rundown, um, Joel. It's been the active, uh, it's been very active out there in the world. So what's going on? Well, um, apart from our major topic, which I won't cover in the rundown, uh, okay. that would be pretty interesting. I invited uh, 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 several people. We'll see if they they show up. All you right. Know? Yes. Um, we don't bite okay. people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right. Let's start with um, the uh, news in the uh, USA. Um, the, um, the, the United States House of Representatives remains, um, uh, leaderless. Uh, there is no speaker at the moment because they, um, they, like we covered last week, uh, mm -hmm. this, uh, the rebel arm of the, uh, Republican party, uh, the, 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 the more extreme right wingers, um, how ousted with the help of all of the Democrats, um, they, they ousted their own speaker. And so there is no speaker at the moment, but um, uh, it's a fast moving story. And um, uh, two candidates put forward their name, Steve Scalise, who was the second in command, and, um, and um, Mr. Yellow Tie Nose Jacket uh, uh, Wrestling Coach. Um, ahead of the Judiciary Committee. He put himself in there too, Jim Jordan. Um, uh, they, 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 they met privately um, uh, and they voted and Mr. Scalise uh, narrowly beat uh, Mr. Jordan. And so uh, he is, Mr. Scalise, a very conservative man, um, mm -hmm. uh, is the nominee but uh, that's um, that's no guarantee of him um, becoming the speaker. Uh, why? Because um, already there are uh, 20 or so um, Republican uh, representatives who have said that they do not intend to vote for Mr. Scalise. They cannot afford to lose 20 because the margin between the Republicans and the Democrats um, would be uh, is is razor thin, maybe about seven or thereabouts. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, in order to, you know, it's going to be a horse trading thing. Um, Scalise will probably have to get some help from the Democrats because I don't see him hurting all those cats over on the Republican side to get it. And unlike Mr. is the his predecessor. Mr. McCarthy. Mr. McCarthy promised all kinds of stuff in order to get the 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 the, mm -hmm. the speakership, and then he didn't keep his promise to either side to anyone. He was known to be a sweet talker and agree to stuff. You know, he mm -hmm. just wanted the position, but uh, once he got it, he didn't really do much with it, and and he broke a lot of promises, and that's why his own members turned against him. Mr. Scalise is not known to be that way. He might be a hard-driving conservative, and so you'll know his position, but it, but it is not known to be um, wishy-washy and um, promise you one thing and then do another thing. So we'll see how it works. It might, okay. be the, it might be the best thing to have Mr. Scalise in for the Republican Party and maybe for the country because right now, the, the with the House not... Uh, leaderless, basically. Uh, there, there are questions of the legality of any decisions they make and so <laughs> on. And um, the country is at a standstill in one sense without a leader. So, you know, yes. Democrats might come on board. 
That's what I think might happen. I think that. so too. Okay. Um, uh, um, speaking of the house, uh, our good friend George Santos has been uh, hit with another set of charges, this time um, for defrauding uh, his um, uh, donors, you know, uh, claiming that he loaned his, his campaign money that he didn't lend them, in fact, and then using that to say, oh, he's popular, and then soliciting other donors that way. And then <laughs> when, he, when, when people donated to him, he would use their credit card information for personal purchases and money. Some of that money ended up in his bank account. He's in serious, serious mess. Wow. wow. Okay. Um, uh, let's continue um, on the, to, 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 I won't go through every one of my, um, my points here. But, That's okay. Uh, you can do one, that. Interesting <laughs> one, one interesting one here is that, um, Republicans, imagine this, they're struggling to find a leader, but they've, they've decided that the next thing they want to inquire, launch an inquiry about is the Biden's dog. Because what? The dog, the dog has been biting some people, right? <laughs> so, so the Republicans have decided the, is, the dog has bit multiple people, actually. That's what dogs do. Yeah, well, you know, well, the they can. Said, they decided to launch an inquiry into an, a major investigation into oh, the dog biting. Really? And, and the argument is, um, you know, OSHA, right? The, the yes. workplace has to be a safe environment. Yes. So safe. The workplace is not safe. The White House is not safe. Dog is biting Secret Service oh. agents. And therefore, oh, really? the, the Bidens are in violation. Wow. The dog <laughs> yeah. made it unsafe. It's uh, okay. Um, well. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yes, that's what they've got time to do, right? They, they can, have time and money to spend on that investigation. Yes. Okay. They'll probably have a special counsel investigating that one, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, All I right. should sign okay. myself up. Yeah. Um, the Supreme Court um, has a case that about to be decided. It's about gerrymandering, right? Remember the ger this Supreme Court recently yes. mm -hmm. uh, decided that gerrymandering mm -hmm. is perfectly fine. Gerrymandering yeah. for political purposes is perfectly fine, according to uh, this Supreme Court. Now, the mm -hmm. way the case was brought to the um, Supreme Court was that um, uh, that the, the 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 borders that they drew were were based on race. This is right. in North Carolina. This, had to, this was in Alabama, right? No, this one is another one. This one is oh, in North another Carolina. one. Oh, yeah, the Alabama okay. one um, uh, uh, decided differently, but this is brand new. It's about to be wow. decided. And okay. um, the, 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 those who brought the case were saying that the borders, that they were the divisions were drawn based on race. But mm -hmm. here's the argument. The argument mm -hmm. for this, by the state is that, by the Republicans, is that no, it was not drawn based on race. It was drawn based on politics in order for, oh. for the Republicans to to forever maintain an advantage over the Democrats. I see. So the well, Supreme listen, Court is saying yeah. that that is perfectly fine. You can They're saying everything that. is fine. They say it's fine. They yeah, say it's course. fine to do that. You can, you can uh, even if you're in the minority and you draw it up so that you can win, then mm -hmm. it's politics, so it's okay. But yeah. if it's, it's not based on race. It's They're politics saying. to buy a gun at Walmart too with no license. Everything is okay in this That's country. That's okay. Um, okay. Listen, we want to take a moment um, to interrupt your rundown for a second to welcome Peter Muyung to our show today as a special guest, special panelist. So ah. happy that you can join us. And for those of you who have been living under a rock, you can hear and see his show, Primal Sports Center. Um, better, way better than SPN. Like, get rid of the SPN channel. It's trash. Okay. <laughs> Um, Primal Sports every Saturday from 4 to 5.30. Um, that's 3 p.m. JA time, okay? All right, so welcome, Peter, tennis table, te table tennis champion, and so much more. And he'll be on the Matrix one day, too. Okay, I thought All I'd right. put that in there. All right. So we, um, continuing, let's, get, let's yes. get local now, local Jamaica. All right. Uh -oh. um, I bet Derek has, has forgotten that today, October 11th, is the anniversary of the Morant Bay Rebellion, right? Ah. And, I'm, uh, I'm already reminding everybody. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the Morant Bay Rebellion, if you remember, um, uh, passed a preacher, uh, Paul Bogle. Be- there, there are lots of reasons why the people were, were agitated and upset. And, and Paul Bogle led that um, rebellion into Morant Bay Square. Governor Erie um, um, uh, took some really drastic measures. And, and um, they had a militia, by the way. And they went about killing a whole bunch of people. The protesters and they rounded up uh the leaders uh one of of course paul bogo they had a speedy trial and they hung paul bogo paul bogo yes. is one of jamaica's national heroes and mm-hmm. governor erie the, uh, there was a parliamentarian um called george william gordon a uh, kind of mixed race guy you know half white half black he was a he, he was a member of the government representing that area and um, Governor Erie accused him of being one of the plotters with no real proof. And um, they had a speedy trial. And guess what they did? They hung George William Gordon in Morant Bay also. Uh, lots of people have forgotten that. But George William Gordon is also a Jamaica national hero. Not many people know much more about him than that. Hmm. Thanks for making us aware. Derek will expand on that. On good news, Jamaica um, won um, top place in the robotics uh, championships over there in um, in Singapore. So you know, Jamaicans, um, we're we're varied. We're not just sports. We're not just music. We're 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 uh, you know, we got smart people too. You know, um, that was the world championships, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, some of my the people I invited but didn't show today. Um, <laughs> One of them uh, posted something on Facebook that I, uh, I I was discussing, and it showed a chart that said Jamaica was at second place from the bottom in mm-hmm. terms of poverty based on um, on GDP, gross domestic yes. product. product. Mm-hmm. I'd like to hear what Derek has to say about that because a lot of Jamaicans are saying, "No, we can't be, we can't be uh, um, that bad. We're not. There are other countries that are worse than us." Can you hear me, Gerald? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Would that be second place in the Caribbean, second place in the hemisphere, second place in the world? What is in that? The, in the, in the, the Caribbean. Caribbean. Behind Haiti. We're, we're, so we're... Low, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh... We'll see what Derek has to say when he comes back. He's having some internet issues, so he'll be back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Um. There is a story. I won't be calling any names because this is um, uh, this is um, an ongoing investigation. There, my, I have a different angle on it though. But there's a, a story about a uh, member of parliament, former mm-hmm. minister of government, um, uh, uh, in the previous administration, um, a single man with a lot of baby mamas, and there uh, there's an accusation that. Uh, one of them contracted with killers to to uh, kill the the other baby mom mm-hmm. and and the child also, mm-hmm. right? Now mm-hmm. uh, it, it really is a terrible story, but uh, that we don't know for a fact that any that anything. But it, what what puzzles me is the amount of information that the police are giving out, like they're telling how they detected, you know, like they use. Um, which tower this person's cell phone was connected to and which tower this other one was connected to and the intersection between them. And therefore, they believe that the two people were in the same location at one time. And therefore, you know, um, it's it just a, a odd way to conduct an investigation in the public eye, maybe to prove that they're, they're working. Sure. Yeah, but they're working. Sure. It, the, the police in Jamaica little bit more professional than that. I think the investigations are, you're in, you're in North America. So you, yeah. the investigations are a little bit more advanced than what the information that's reaching you. The, the, it's a politician, it's Philip Paulwell. It's well known because it's in all the newspapers. Paulwell seems to have, like, most Jama- like many Jamaican men, multiple baby mamas. <laughs> So, so uh, apparently, one baby mama um, 
seems to be involved in the disappearance of Paul Wells' latest baby mama and baby. No, um, the investigations, it, it, is, it is a fact now that a relative of another baby mama has, is now in custody along with uh, three or four other accomplices for the murder. And they have, they have found a body, they have found a lot of things. So the, the investigation is far more advanced. So maybe that's why they're releasing sources and methods now. Okay, but why would you release sources and methods at all? You know, I don't know that they I were doing the, the work. Eye. I think they're trying to say that they have a strong case, and um, Jamaicans love to hear about um, the, the, the skullduggery of murder because of bun and outside women and other that seemed to be the, the Jamaican narrative. Jamaican it's men women. um spread their seed liberally, like the present <laughs> company, present company accepted. And 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 therefore there, uh, there there comes a lot of cascas. Even in today's news, I saw where a Saint Elizabeth businessman, um, thirty odd years old, went to stay with his baby mama one night. And it seems to me as if he heard the grill opening up. I an another young man was coming to stay at the place, and apparently he stayed at the house a lot, and he was met with gunshots. <laughs> Oh, I heard about that. So apparently, I I, that. you know, Jamaican women are famous for giving two things, you know. One is bun, and the other is jacket. Here we go. You know why I'm shutting this show down, Peter. I'm I don't want to make down. a joke about it, but apparently, <laughs> poor man. Come on, man. And locks to the house, and he was unlocking the grill and coming in when he was greeted by gunshot. And so the St. Elizabeth man knows his life is... He's in jail. He's in jail. And maybe maybe this weekend on Sports Commentary, I will talk about the Jamaican phenomenon of why do these triangular situations always end in gunshot? Mm -hmm. Ah, you could tell us now. <laughs> I don't I listen, I've never been on the post before. I spent many years in Trinidad. And and maybe St. Lucia uh, might have the same situation. The guys are pretty philosophical about bun, you know. They're pretty philosophical. Jamaican men, when they get bun, it becomes a manhood challenging thing. The mm -hmm. gun come out, the cutlass come out, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah, well, you're talking about emotions and when people's emotions get riled up. Yes, yes, yes. But Jamaicans seem to have a real problem dealing with their own infidelity. That it always mm -hmm. ends up in machete. Mm -hmm. Internal things have been poisoned sometime and in, in I know that um people well, run to join the Jamaican army because they, they have they want to get out of the they want to get out of the world of Jamaican born politics. All right. I covered that the other day about the um so sugar? what did I call yeah, it? Paternity it. fraud. Remember I covered yes. paternity fraud not too yes. long ago. Yes. Right? yes. Okay, so moving along on our roundup. Um yes. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna move now to the um situation. Let me let me clean it up for you. Yeah, um, clean it. The, 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 <laughs> if you um, can. <laughs> Jamaican um street food, street food. All right. Um, it can't with, clean. Yeah, I, I keep it clean. Um, there it's there impossible. there are some issues of um of late. Uh, by the way, how many of you eat street food? By the way. No more. I ain't eating no more after that day. Nope. Never again. I already said I'm not doing it again. I don't know. People, Joel, Joel, people who watch Primal Sports, sorry to be plugging my own show, but people who watch Primal Sports will tell you that last week I raised the same issue that is hot in Jamaica about, about the vendor who was um, pictured taking a dump mm. in, in a public space while serving people food. Ugh. Now, I was telling people a story that one day I was coming up from court with my lawyer and the lawyer drove past Crab Circle and he, he said he was going to stop for some crab water. I'd never heard the term before. I didn't know what crab water was. Oh, no. And I saw him stop by the stall and the guy girl came out with what looked like crab soup. And I, he drank the soup and the soup had a particular smell that, that um, <laughs> pleasant to him. But I associated it with pit toilet. And now I know why. 
No one know why. Because the soup is here to have a grainy consistency. Grainy consistency. Give me a Oh, my God. <laughs> but some people seem to love the crab soup. So, yeah, they, woman, they spoil anybody's fun. You know? Yeah, people are still I, going I, back. I, well, I shut down them, now. But. I hear them say that we will return from whence we came. So, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. How do you clean that up? How do you clean that up, Joel? Tell us what oh, you think. Oh, I cleaned up. I, I, I yes. kind of switch like this, you know. Peter, you uh, and and Derek, you're Caribbean people. You travel throughout the Caribbean. I do too. And and I always I pose a question, you know, where has the best street food? And my view was it was Trinidad. What is your view? <clears throat> Let me hear Mr. Mitchell first. Actually, for me, I would say definitely Guyana. There's so many cultures and so many different people and every race, every kind of street food is there, including Jamaican food, you know, everything is there. <laughs> but tell me about the Guyanese Amerindian food. I've never had the Amerindian food. Oh, very I know nice. Snake, and, snake and lizard, the Amerindians eat dinner, so <laughs> tell me. No, I mean, there are local national dishes there uh, that the natives prepare. And when the natives cook for your brother, when the Amerindian cooks for you, you love the food, you lick your finger. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, defend this one now. I'm going to accuse you of something. Well, uh, I hear that said you shall love crapo. Can you tell us what crapo is? That's not true. You get your facts wrong. Dominica is a national dish. Crapo is bullfrog. <laughs> you yeah. is what? I hear you have mountain chicken and crapo. Uh, <laughs> no, you have crapo in St. Lucia, but mountain chicken is uh is Dominica. It's their national dish. Uh there you have some people that eat crapo in 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 St. Lucia. Uh not 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 many people. Not many people, but there are those who do it, especially those with a French leaning. Um, yeah, but to be clear, crapo is bullfrog. Bullfrog. Yeah, uh, I go again. Crapo, crapo is just a Lucia name for bullfrog. Uh, mountain chicken is the in the English name. Yes. Are you confessing, in a sense, of having regular crapo? I've never had it before, my brother. <laughs> I, I did my research and I stay away from it. I found a couple of Jamaican jerk guys, and trust me, them, them jerk the hell out of every chicken them catch. <laughs> I hear it's the same pot. Is it the same pot it's cooked in? No, sir. <laughs> Nothing like that. We don't we do have well, the stuff. We don't even have the, the, the stove or the grill beside the one that looks so good. I hear you. You're, you're completely insulated. <laughs> well, I'm going to answer the question, too. I was skipped, but I'm going to answer. I've been to St. Lucia. I don't like their street food. Been to Barbados. Don't like their street food. West Africa, I preferred. So that's my opinion. Yes. All right. So I, let's, I like that let's, with one big exception. I like what you're saying. Uh, but uh, I might point out that West Africa is not in the Caribbean. So it's not. We... I just had to throw that in there to be fancy, okay? Yeah. I just had to be fancy tonight. It's not in the Caribbean. There goes but Since y'all left again. me out of the conversation, I wanted to add that in there. I see. Okay, that's, so why don't we, um... that's, that's Joel always um, with his uh, <laughs> misogynistic tendencies, leaving the lady out of the conversation. <laughs> 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 the <laughs> I got I know of a brother like this, <laughs> Joel. I've been to most <laughs> of the islands. I've been to most of the islands, and mm -hmm. I know where street food. It has to be Barbados because they they have told me about this. Um, you said the food. worst. Yes, flying Why? fish and um. Well, flying fish is not good. Cuckoo is it? Cuckoo flying yeah, fish. Cuckoo. Cuckoo? Yeah, cuckoo. That's mm -hmm. like bummy. Yeah. I, I can think of few foods worse than that. In fact, I played football and had mud kick in my face. And I think it was more pleasant than I've <laughs> and, and Well, cooking. listen, even though that's Barbados national dish, I didn't, yeah. see, I, it's not really good street food. Like flying fish isn't good at all. I yeah. must, I'm sorry, Bayesians. It's not. Okay. I don't want to. But anyway, let's um head back to the run. Are you finished with the? Let's fill it, finish okay. up this crap, yeah, lady. Please. I, I want to say that Trinidad has some great street food. The truth be told, but um I think that um I'll give it to them. I'll give it to Trinidad. Mm -hmm. I love their roti over Guyana. Salt and bake and doubles with chicken and um but aloo pie 
and a lot of good street food in Trinidad. The problem is that once you come off the street, the food ain't good. <laughs> it's still good. I have some Trini friends that cook in your kitchen. It's good. No. Come on. I lost weight in Trinidad. <laughs> That's because you were doing sports. That's because you was running up and down. That's all. And partying at night. Don't lie. Trill, am I interrupting your flow? Am I interrupting your flow? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, you're good. All right. Let's continue. What's up with the circle lady? Circle crab. Is that it? Well, um, she has uh, claimed that it was a single incident and um, right, right, that right. she was just having a, 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 an accident. But the, um, the person who, vid who, who videoed her and uh, reported it basically to the rest of us um, was uh -huh. able to produce evidence that um, it was a, a multiple occasion. I, I was going to answer that. I was going to answer that. I, I didn't want to. What is on the ground in Jamaica is that it, she's been spoken to about it and it's a regular thing that she does and so on. And um, as I said before, and I wasn't fully joking, it may well be that the product yeah. is a component of the crab soup. <laughs> it might. You know? Yes. It might and, be. And don't don't <laughs> underrate it because you have to remember you know, that um, human, it's, a, it's part of the great cycle. You know, returning to the earth and <laughs> to the food and young. It's part of a great cycle. It might be. It might be. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to go into the chat as Ryan um, comes aboard. We're just going to go ahead. We only have a half hour left. We've been having a boisterous conversation. So once we answer some um, comments in the chat, we're just going to go ahead and jump into uh, what's been happening over in Israel. Sorry to cut your okay. rundown short. We'll continue with the rest <laughs> of the rundown next week. Okay, so Professor X is in the building. Winston's in the building. Um, to go back to our uh, some previous comments, uh, Professor X says the Dems didn't help the Republicans. The Dems were just bystanders watching the Republicans fight. He says that Santos is a criminal who is going to prison for a long time. Uh, Winston says, what is so strange about the frivolity of politics today? This is politics. And he says, who were the rebels? Explain. Um, we've kind of gone past that, Winston, so I'm not sure. Do you know what he's talking about, Joel? Uh, if he means the, um, in the, in Orange the... Bay Rebellion. Oh, those? Oh, I thought it was before y'all said that. Uh, the, there were farmers, if it's, if it's the rebellion all over, you know, but if it's right. the Orange Bay one, you know, it would be the farmers, the, um, and peasants, those, those people who were having a hard time under Governor Erie. Uh, by the okay. way, Governor Erie, um, the people in England were really upset with Governor Erie and, and wanted to prosecute him, but they, they decided to just um, have him, force him to resign after all of that, to the, what he did. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Welcome, Ryan. If, it, if, it's the, if, it, if he's referring to the, the rebels in the house, that would be um, the ultra magas like Matt Gates and company, if that's what <laughs> okay. he's referring to. <laughs> all right, so you covered all bases, Winston. Hi, how are you, Ryan? Welcome. Hey, good, good. Good, good to Sorry see to you. Sorry to be late. No problem. You're just on, right on time, right on time. <laughs> Mr. All right, Ryan, we have a couple of... before me. Yes. <laughs> if... And we're so happy to have Ryan here. I've been wanting to get a piece, Sam, on the show for a long time. <laughs> yeah, he's been doing well, this. Here. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me get through the rest of these so we can um, have the rest of the discussion about Israel. Um, let's see. Uh, Winston says Jamaicans enjoy news and drama. I mean, that's the whole world, too. We're, you know, most of the world is like that. Um, Winston says Jamaican women are up to being infidelous. Is that a new word there, sir? We accept it. Um, uh, Allison says he she doesn't ever eat street food when the gutter water and slime sits there <laughs> sits at their feet. That's true. Um, and she says not in Jamaica, TNT or Barbados. Spring chicken, lot of mercy. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, Professor X agrees. Um, says he does not like the food in Bar in Barbados, Saint Lucia, Bahamas, La República Dominicana, and Cuba. Wow. And then one more comment. Allison says, TNT's food smells too raw. I only, I don't eat there, only nuts. 
Wow, such opinionated people in the chat today. All right. I, I so, to well, every day. I'm sorry? I said I would have to disagree. The food in TNT so, is pretty good. I think street food too. is pretty good. I think, I think so the too. street food is pretty good. I don't think that the restaurant food, native Trinidad food, is horrible. But but the street food is pretty good. <laughs> well, you guys are all Jamaicans. I could not afford to go restaurant when I lived there. <laughs> Food so, down there, Ryan, and you like the food down there? Yeah, man, I like the, the, the food there. Um, home home cooked meals, you know, they have a wide variety yeah. of food. That I think I like the roti, all of that. I think it was oh, pretty that's street food, Ryan. Right, that's street food. I'm saying in Tr Trinidad was the first place I ever went where the chicken is cooked simultaneously with the rice in the same pot. Yeah, I think they call it pillow. No, I know what they call it, but yeah, I know what that, I call it. It, it was very gross. It was, maybe for me, it was a new maybe. phenomenon to eat chicken cooked in a rice. It, that, that was, that, that was it, 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 it's pretty my, good. My... Maybe you're too young at the time. Well, you know, other countries have it. They call it one pot where they cook several yes. uh, ingredients. No, no, I know. I've seen, I've seen Puerto Rican um, arroz con pollo yes. is the same. Arroz yes, con pollo I've seen is Puerto same. Rican executed mm -hmm. properly. But I'm I do it you, very uh, well. Very well. You know, this clueless. For four years living in Trinidad, I ate Danish butter cookies and drank Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> That's why you were skinny. Okay, I see. Well, All right. So my first time in Trinidad, I, I couldn't handle the food either. And, and so I had, to, I had to find a Chinese restaurant in order yes. to eat yeah, something right? that my stomach couldn't handle. Wow. All right. So I'm going to highlight. I know we're, that you guys are going to take most take over the discussion. And I'm just here to kind of see what your opinions are. I'm not going to say too much, but I do want to start with the fact that as we talk about Hamas um, attacking Israel, that there are, you know, there's a lot of tragedy surrounding this and there are both sides that are upset. And so some of the information and the opinions that we might share might be sensitive to some viewers. You know, there are people in this country who have children over there who aren't in, um, who aren't able to come back home, who are visited, who have been killed. So I want to try to be as you know, think about you those people's feelings um, as much as we can. However, we still have opinions as to who owns the territory and why Hamas um, ended up attacking Israel. So um, let's talk about that. And let's also talk about the propaganda that's being spread on social media and how there are old videos surfacing of prior wars 10 and 12 years ago that are really helping to f feed the fire um, for people to come out and you know, protest and it's not in their old videos. So let's talk about the disinformation that's causing chaos. And let's also talk about some of the history of Israel and Palestine, um, the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, and how Hamas ended up um, taking over and being able to have the Gaza Strip. Um, let's also talk about the wars that Israel has in the past um, let's see, they were, they went to war with so many people, Egypt, Lebanon, um, uh, seems like they're always trying to take over another country. So let's talk about all of that combined and related to what's happening right now with this latest attack. So, um, Derek, you haven't really had the opportunity to speak too much. So why don't you go ahead first on your take about this latest attack? No, oh, I, as it relates to watching what the various news agency has been feeding us. I mm -hmm. also would want to condemn the attack on that festival and the incursion by the Palestinians uh, across the border. Because uh, without looking at it from a historical point of view, you cannot justify killing innocent people, right? You cannot have armed, I won't call them freedom fighters, I will call them militants. You can't have a, a, a large group of armed men killing innocent people. That's wrong on all fronts. And the response that Israel has made, uh, and it has just started, it, it is going to be, it, it is going to be held to pay on that. But the truth be told is that what I am seeing is that mm -hmm. when there's just too much fire under the pot, it is going to boil over. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing this boiling over mm -hmm. currently uh, taking place on the Gaza-Israel border. I was watching Al Jazeera and I was watching BBC. And the narrative 
of both stations tends to conflict so drastically. There were times I was wondering if I am watching the news footage of the same incidents. It is so different. And it tells what were the differences? Perspective. Al Jazeera tend to be leaning on the uh, Palestinian side and they spend a huge amount of time condemning the bombing and going into great details of the retaliation of Israel. And uh, although they did cover in all honesty the attack uh, by these uh, so-called armed men or militants on the festival, they just did not give that type of time and coverage that they're still giving now to uh, what Israel is doing. All of the human interest stories that are coming at you right now, especially on Al Jazeera, is speaking about the poor families and the children and things that are dying in the Gaza Strip, which is not good, right? But the, the, the initial uh, attack by the militants was just not getting those human interest stories that Al Jazeera was doing. Now, on the other hand, BBC and CNN and the other masters of propaganda, you know, they have their slant on it and they are making it very clear that what Israel is doing is right. Uh, America has sided with Israel already. They are sending munitions. They are sending warships. I don't think they believe Israel has enough ammunition or bombs to drop on the Gaza Strip. So they are making sure that they are well supplied. But that's America for you. What can mm -hmm. I say? Mm -hmm. I think that um, to properly understand the, the current issue, you have to go back to the beginning. Which yes, is right. um, uh, the, uh, the 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 Jews and the um, and the state of Israel? You know that the Jews were meant first mentioned in the Bible in Genesis um, way back then, and um, Genesis five. You know, yeah. They are um, they've contributed a lot to the history of the world and the culture and that kind of stuff. Um, they, they 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 but they've also been kicked out of their place by by the babylonians and then later by the romans right they fought and lost wars and they were scattered all across um uh, europe and then in recent history i mean they didn't have a country and then right. the united nations decide to, mm -hmm. to to install them in uh in, to in be a, a christopher columbus Pretty much right where other people mm -hmm. already lived and existed, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and that is really to me the source of the problem. Of course, that yes, the, the the Palestinians did not like that. They objected to 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 what was imposed on them, and they fought a war with Israel, and Israel defeated them, and they ended up with um, less than what was um, uh, assigned by the United Nations. They ended mm -hmm. up with this little piece of like the Gaza. Right, mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and um, and and ever since they've been living in what is truly um a state of apartheid, right? Yes. And uh, and uh, there will always be war. There always have been negotiation. There have been violation, and all of this kind of stuff. Basically, one dominant country, Israel, is mm -hmm. has all the ammunition. They have nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. They. <laughs> The, the other side is small and weaker, but uh, uh, throwing rocks at soldiers and that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. they have not been. There won't be any kind of parity. There won't be any kind of equality. Some people propose that we should have two separate states, divide the country, or or move the Palestinians somewhere else and, and give Israel. You know, but it, it can't happen because you know the whole the place is holy for both sides. And, right. and so it's, it's going to be very difficult to resolve this kind of issue with this kind of disparity and this kind of um, apartheid, if you want to call it that. But in my view, terrorism, what, what did they hope to achieve when they, when they came across and, 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 and um, with their weapons and weapons? Is that going to improve the lot of the Palestinians? Sure, I sure. don't. I'm pretty sure that they weren't sure, thinking sure, that. Sure. Before Did we watch? one second, before we one sure, second, sure. I do want to say that the Gaza Strip. For those who don't watch the news and have no idea what the Middle East looks like, the Gaza Strip is where 2.3 million people live on a 25 mile piece of of a strip. So just so that people know what we're talking about, go ahead, Peter. 
Yeah, um, Joel, I don't know if you watched the movie, The, the Born Identity and The Born Supremacy, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, when you push a man into a corner and he has nothing but a firearm in his hand, and Mr. Born, Mr. Born is on the show as well, um, he, has no <laughs> choice, he has no choice other than to use the single tool at his disposal, which is rocks, a gun, a bomb, and so on. Um, yeah. I think it's more, more a little bit more to it than that. You have to remember that the Palestinians who are in the Gaza Strip, um, they are the losers of the war, and they they were pushed to that little toe point like Normandy, eh? And that's why mm -hmm. they inhabit that small little strip at the mm -hmm. end of I think that the Six Day War. I think it was. I think that's yes. that's how they ended up on that section. Yes. But mm -hmm. Julia rightfully says something that the the original problem, if if you are to go to the original problem which is that the Muslims had a holy book and the, 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 the Christians had a holy book, right? The West is, is, is about Christians. So the West naturally support the only Christian nation in that area, which is the Israeli nation, right? Is that fair? The no, Arabs, they're, 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 they're Jews, not Christians. So the, pro the problem is the decision makers, Peter. Judaism who, who decisions, no. So you're talking about the fact that Judah started, well, Christianity is rooted in Judaism. Yeah, whether you're a Judaist or Christian, you, you, I think you still worship the Christian God. So we're going to divide them by that. Okay. But what okay. I'm saying is the Arabs have a book that tell them, say, Jerusalem is the holy city, the center of the world, the capital of their world. Um, and, and the Christians have a book that tell them that God put them on this land. This is the promised land, the holy land. Mm -hmm. The problem now, 2,000, 3,000 years later, is that both nations consider the land belong to them. And, 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 and they're going to kill each other for the next 30, 40 years. Because remember from Camp David, is 30, 40 years ago that, you know, we're trying to solve this problem. And the problem can only be solved by giving some people their peace and make some people have their peace. So I believe that when Berlin was split into two, where the communists had one piece of Berlin, West and East Berlin, and, and is, to, is to split Jerusalem and, and, and give the man them, give the Palestinian them a piece of land. Let's make firearms illegal in, in both territories and, and, and then let peace reign. It's a two-state solution, I think, is the solution. They, they think they think the <laughs> problem with that, no, Peter, to accomplish that. This is just my yes. view. I don't yes. think the world has the leadership to, 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 to accomplish something like that. No. After World War II and the defeat of the, the, the Nazis, I think the world came together, the, the formed the United Nations, all of these, these are uh, multinational, the world kind of came together and they, they had almost like the, the, mar the authority, the agreement to accomplish what they did. Maybe you could say they overreacted in how they, they handled Israel and the Palestinian from, from day one. But as things stand now and the fall of democracies all over the world, I, I just don't know how that could be accomplished. And right, what's well, happening all, now going to make it any easier. Yeah, but first of all, we can't just say it started with the United Nations appropriating territory or ceding territory to, the, to Israel. The truth is that the British control the territory after the fall of the Ottoman Empire, mm -hmm. and the British controlled what became modern Israel. What happened is that because the West was all powerful and Christian, they, they decided to, to give greater hegemony over the Israeli state to the state of Israel. And then Israel then marginalized the Palestinians who were resident there. Right. And, and forced he... them out to the West Bank. And then to make matters worse now, because the USA has been arming Israel and, 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 and the West has been arming Israel. The, the Israelis are now even moving into those areas that were left alone for the Palestinians, right. the West Bank, and probably even Gaza. That's right. The, the, I mean, the, we, the Jamaicans, Israeli... we Jamaicans have a strong interest in Gaza. For some reason, Jamaicans <laughs> love to talk about free That's Gaza. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's, That's true. Vibes cartel. So, uh, you yes. know, you know that. Can I ask you a question, Peter? <laughs> So in yeah. the nineties, in the nineties, I think the West Bank was supposed to be the Israel, the sorry, the Palestinian state. Why did yes. it never become so? Why is it controlled by the Israeli um, military? The Jews didn't have never agreed to any agreement to settlements. They kept growing, and and and, and as their population expanded, they kept moving into the Arab man place. 
because they had all the guns and they had all the rights. So right. the, the West Bank has never stopped being settled by Jews. And soon even the, the, the little piece of land in the Gaza, the Israelis want. Wow. What they so the Israelis are very entitled and very entitled people. Go the ahead. Balfour, um, yeah, the Balfour Declaration, that was a document drawn up uh, mm -hmm. that gave this uh, power and its edge to Israel. Probably with exactly the creation the of the Israel state, right? The creation of the Israel state uh, was necessary because the Jews were a wandering people and they had wandered for, for generations and generations. And after the Holocaust, especially what Nazi Germany perpetrated on the Jewish people, the world decided are the victors, the allied, which comprises of most the Christians, which is our offspring of Judaism, decided that, listen, we have to find a home for them. And they got that piece of land there uh, in, in the Middle East. Now, historically, from the Canaanites and back into the Old Testament, day, and I have to make a reference now to the Bible, because there are biblical maps available, are maps available from biblical time that show the layout of the land. The Israelites or the Jews are working on what they call the promised land. They were promised this land by God. And because of the spiritual aspect of it, they believe they have a right to the land. Uh, Jews all across the world believe this. Uh, persons who are Jewish sympathizers believe this. And Christians in general, or most Christians, believe this. So there's also that aspect of it that we need to take into consideration. But I want to point out something to you, that whenever we have a system that is going to marginalize a people, uh, when mm -hmm. that is going to uh, put down a group of people, it's going to steal from them, make them become subhumans. What I see happening today, I'm not pleased with, because the same thing the Nazis did to the Jews, it seems as if the Jews are doing this to the Palestinians. So let's look at it from a spiritual point of view. God cannot be pleased about that. You yeah. understand me? We have children. It's two different you know. God, though. It's two different God, Derek. That's the problem. Well, yeah, I, ag I agree. I, I, I agree. I don't know if it's two different God because the, 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 the Muslims worship Allah, right? And the, the, yes. the Christians and the Jews worship uh, God Jehovah, right? But in reality, there's really one God. Uh, they might choose to call him. No, that's what you hear, hear me on that. My interpreter, they might decide to call him Allah, while some people <laughs> might decide to call him Jehovah and all of that. Okay. But nevertheless, hear what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. The, 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 the Quran says, kill the infidel. Who is the infidel? The unbeliever. Okay. The Bible speaks about loving your enemies. You, you, you see, where if you're going to adhere to your spiritual book, or the book that you, you, you believe is, is the word of God. You're going to have a conflict. You're going to have a conflict. So the, Israel, the Israelis are killing their enemy. They're killing their enemy. Yeah, they, your, argument, your argument is that your God is a God of love, while the, the Arab God is a God of death and destruction. No, that's not my argument. What I'm saying is the difference <laughs> <laughs> that what books are saying. <laughs> yes. So, so, I repeat, uh, and Ryan so, uh, made a problem. very good point. Sorry, Ryan made a very good point. Who are the decision makers today? Who is the world power today that is decided on these things? Judah Christians. That's right. correct. And they're making That's their correct. decisions based on a book that says that this person, these people are the chosen people according to whom? Nothing's really proven. So you're having, yeah. this, this is the problem with religion. This is the problem. So is religion the problem then? It is one I of the problems. That. Yes. I don't think that is. Religion is yes. not a problem. I think so. <laughs> I think religion is a big part of the problem. <laughs> mischievous, mischievous okay. statement that Ryan. Right? No, You're, it's not. Of course. It's where the part there. Listen, I don't listen, think religion, listen. listen, religion is not a problem. Every man has a right to believe in his God or his understanding of God, right? But my belief in God should not interfere with the way you live your life. You understand me? And I have no right to take your life because you don't believe the way I believe. That's, That's right. But some people don't That's think wrong. the way you, you do. You have extremists They're everywhere. Extremists. Those guys Correct. that was on the motorbike so. and killing people because they believe in somebody else, right? And those persons who are burning people at the state because they believe in somebody else. You know, like in you know, the Spanish Inquisition. All of those things was wrong. And God cannot be pleased about that. Well, it, this is about the, it is what we see now is about land too, right? Primarily, and and if 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 the Jews 
or let's call it the state of Israel. Oh, well, promised true. land. land promised it's the land. promised land. God chose them. That means they're better than everybody else, right? <laughs> and the land belongs to them, right? But that's what they wrote. Them that they are the chosen people. The Bible tells them that. The problem is that the Holy Quran tells the Arab people that they are favored in the eyes of Allah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, and so, mm -hmm. until the philosophy that holds one race <laughs> superior and another inferior is finally and totally discredited and abandoned, uh, there will be right, war. So, so the problem right. is not, so I can rephrase, the problem is not religion, it's just when man take up religion. In well, man, it, religion. man is who made religion. Man made religion. <laughs> so that means no. it's inherent the problem. problem. So it's man is from the religion. Come on, what kind of argument is that? All right, we, let me... We, we are living me... in a world of man. And exactly. man has a God. Every man has a God, one God or the other. I am telling Derek that it's yeah. not the same God. It's different gods. And that's what the problem is. If there's different gods, Peter, that means Peter. some of these people that are at work right. are children of a lesser God. Uh, all right, look, 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 I'm going to get back to the chat. So we have people Eric, in the chat Eric. that want to weigh in. We have people in the chat that want to weigh sorry, in. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to get through these quickly. We only have nine minutes. Yad Fusion says, imagine Russia trying to take over Ukraine and offering a two-state solution. Um, nice. And 70 years later, having acquired most of the land and holding a, a people in a landlocked apartheid, exactly, exactly. Um, Allison, we'll try to get to that question. What's so special about Gaza? Why so much blood bloodshed there? We'll try to, I, we've kind of been, I mean, since Egypt was the, the main person who owned it and Israel came and took it from them, I think since then it's, but I think we'll hope, we'll try to get to that question. Uh, Yad Fusion says there was no Israel prior to 1948. Now a people without homes is doing to folks what was done to them. How quickly they forget. Exactly. Um, Nancy Eleanor going. says, uh, Gaza, Gaza, the, pal the Palestinians with their backs to the sea. I never understood why the Palestinians accepted that deal in the first place. Mm. They lost the war. Um, okay. She says, do you know the first place the do you know the first place the West offered as homeland to the Jew, Jews was Uganda? And I'm sure they turned it down because they were racist as hell, right? They didn't <laughs> want to be around a bunch of black people, right? No, no. Um, pro Professor X says he loves this conversation. He says, I think a reasonable solution can ach be achieved if Israel moves back to pre-1967 boundaries. Very good and point. One last um, comment that I'll read and then we'll get on with you guys' discussion. Uh, Derek said, or sorry, Yah Fusion says, Derek, read numbers 31 and come again. Okay, that's your assignment. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, remember that yeah. Israel, Israel is, uh, the state of Israel is um, very complicated and there are, not everybody's right wing in Israel. There's a strong opposition um that uh believes differently and would cooperate would would, would um actually uh work with the palestinians but the 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 uh, the, the skillful politician benjamin netanyahu who has been prime minister for some time now uh, has found himself in order to be prime minister has had to strike deals with the extreme right parties in israel and they they believe in basically uh, uh, exterminating <laughs> um, the, 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 the Palestinians, remove them from totally from Israel. And they're the ones pushing the expansion of the settlements into the, 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 the territories. And so <laughs> uh, perhaps if, um, and there, there was, a, prior to this invasion by Hamas, uh, there was a whole lot of protests going on inside of Israel um, by the opposition and uh, they were, there's a, there was a chance that Netanyahu were, were, was going to go to jail because he was doing, so he had made some moves to, um, to put himself above the Supreme Court. In other words, he couldn't be prosecuted or sentenced for the crimes that he, um, he was accused of. But uh, so, so, yeah, the right wing is doing what they're doing right now because now that Hamas has come in and started this war, Israel has become 
back uh, united again. In fact, they have a kind of a, a coalition government now where the opposition is is it has joined with the um with with Netanyahu and his crew right wing crew to fight this war. You know they don't want they they, they they're not going to stand by and, and let uh, a mass come in and execute so many of their people. So mm -hmm. it to me it's a it backfires. It's not in and there, their there interest. Is there's also some strategy in this because you notice that the United States and the Western world have developed a strong relationship now with Saudi Arabia and other Arab countries in the region. Now, when yes. Arabs see other Arabs being killed by Jews, that is always a decisive point. There's no way that the Arabs are going to allow this, even through secret funding or whatever. But I can tell you it's going to drive a wedge between Israel, the U.S., and Saudi Arabia. And, you know, the U.S., they have a way of, you know, pretend to be a friend to get what you have until they don't need you anymore. Then they create some falls with about you and go and destroy and kill and take over. But saying all of that to say this, I just said, uh, Ryan, don't laugh. That's just the mode I'm operating there. You have a very negative opinion of Americans. Yeah, man, Mr. very, 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 uh, very negative. Yes, 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 of the history. You're not know, yeah. applying for a visa to visit no. them anytime soon. <laughs> Because no, you, you're not no, no, going to take with the one I'm here. Of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand the bitterness now. <laughs> but on a serious and, note, on a serious note, by driving that wedge uh, between them, uh, you actually will have a situation where, look upon it, you might have a united Arab front. Now, a united Arab front is going to be a significant force to reckon with. If all of the Arab countries align themselves against Israel and the Christian countries. Now, I have to refer to Bibles, and I did read Numbers 21, as uh, Professor Notsa Thing said. It speaks about the Israelites <laughs> taking away uh, oh my God. The land from uh, various kings and all that because it was promised to them. But from a biblical point of view, there's always this speaking revelation, and eschatologists talk about this. Uh, one million, one hundred million, one million million army or this, this this huge army that's going to rise up. And a lot of people were quick to say, oh, it's the Chinese, it's the Chinese and the Chinese. A united Arab army or a united Arab front can field an army like that, right? And that is really the end game I see that the, the, the West Bank, the Palestinians and all they can benefit from. I have to um uh, answer that because I don't see. You know that there are two types of Muslims, right? The Shiites yeah, the and, and the Shiites. Shiite. And I don't see them uh, united. Well, but they, use, but they use the Quran. Both of them use the Quran. Yes, but I don't see All them. All right, my argument is like this. Both of them use the Quran. I know, but you like the Jews and the here. Christians are siding with each other. You have Iran over here who's more into this revolutionary, trying to spread their kind of, um, their idea. Right, and then you have Saudi Arabia over here. This is completely different, and Saudi Arabia is the one that is joined closer to to Israel. So I, if it, if it were to happen like you say, yeah, well, God, now we suffer. But I don't believe that, I, I, that will happen. Sure. I, don't think, I don't think that's gonna. Happen. Did you want to expand on that? Because Ryan, we have one minute left now. I just want to make sure you have the floor no, for I, some I, other. No, I don't have, and no, I just agree with Joel on that because I don't think that's the, the mindset of the Saudis. Okay. And historically, Ryan always agree with what Joel said. Let me just put that to uh -uh. Oh, oh, you. You, have to, you, you don't know. know. Well, you don't know how it is. How it is, sir, and not like that oh. at all. <laughs> So, listen, we have about 30 seconds left, and I'm going to actually end our show um, right now rather than going a little bit over as we've done in the past um, because we have a new show airing right at 7 o'clock, which is The Love Zone with Majin. You know Majin from Primally Poetic, so you're going to see him with his own show tonight um, exploring relationships. And after a show like this, I'm sure you want to calm down a little bit and start talking about love, dating, relationships, jackets, um, as Peter said. All right. So thank you guys. I would love to have the same panel back again. Everybody free next Wednesday. Okay, good. See you next Wednesday. All right. <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay tuned for um, the love zone with Majin. Peace. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you. Right, thank you for coming. Bye. Bye. And I'll see you again. All right. <laughs> <laughs>